All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Welcome everybody to the highest converting funnels for motivated buyers and sellers. If you're looking to generate more deals online, one thing I can tell you right now is there's a lot of things that are working that are working really well. And um, I wanna talk to you guys really right now about the formula. This is a formula that we use religiously whenever we're building any funnel. Um, I think it's, truthfully, I think it's a little bit more intuitive for us now. Um, we used to have to stick to really going back to the basic principles and making sure we had checks in every box, especially at the very beginning uh, when we first started. Now, not so much, um, but let me walk you through what this formula is. So everybody here should have a target market and that's some, uh, someone that you're, you're actually choosing to target. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you're in real estate, you can choose to target expires, FISBOs, your past clients, sphere of influence. Every one of those individuals has, uh, is different in some form or fashion. And I think target market is the most important. First time home buyers, uh, home sellers, home sellers in a specific neighborhood versus um, maybe home sellers that are, are, are looking to move, are looking to build, different things like that. A target market, knowing who you're gonna target is something that we always start with. And we'll talk about uh, these funnels today and we'll point out the different target markets. Then we talk about traffic. Where are we gonna find those individuals? And then the most important thing we always work on is the offer. And that's really what bait are we going to use to attract them? And finally, how are we going to get to uh, convert those individuals into clients? What, 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 are, what is that um, linear, uh, comprehensive kind of uh, the different mechanisms that we're going to use, whether it's the top of the funnel where we're trying to get their attention so that they'll look at our ad, uh, whether that's uh, in the middle of the funnel where someone's actually opted in, looked at properties, and now we're trying to get them engaged. All of those different um, steps in the process of getting face-to-face -face with the customer, which is your highest leverage activity, require a different set of skills or, or steps in the process offers. And so um, the target market, usually the best thing that you wanna do is you wanna look at the individuals with the highest commercial intent, that's now business. So when you're prioritizing, you know, when I'm looking at somebody who's looking to start marketing online, and we can look at all the different segments. We want to prioritize the different um, segments based upon their commercial intent. Commercial intent is, you know, if we were selling something on the internet, um, specifically to realtors, there's a, there used to be, and I, I haven't looked in a while, but there used to be a, a commercial intent type calculator that Microsoft made. And uh, I remember doing a lot of keyword research when I first got into online marketing after studying some Perry Marshall. And one of the highest commercial intent words for real estate agents was business card magnet. And what that means just as a way to illustrate or demonstrate the point is, is that when people go to Google and type in the uh, word real estate business card magnet, their commercial intent is high, meaning they usually end up at a very high percentage in a checkout process, meaning actually buying something. Most people don't go to real estate business card magnet uh, just to glance. They're, they're actually... Um, in the process of trying to uh, solve a problem. And then with traffic, we have search versus social. And then our offers, what beta are we gonna use? Um, to give an example, you know, on the buy side, we have selection, affordability. You know, most buyers start their search with selection, but some of them start trying to figure out what type, uh, how much of a home they can uh, afford. And then with sellers, what we're seeing that works and has always worked well is time and ease of money for sellers. And what I mean by that is, you know, Anytime we would run an ad that had a time frame put on it, like uh, I'll give you an example. One of the things that we're doing right now is giving a guaranteed offer on a home. So a guaranteed offer on your home versus a guaranteed offer in 48 hours is different. Um, you might've seen them in your marketplace, your home sold guaranteed versus your home sold guaranteed in 59 days or 90 days. Anytime that we add time, uh, sellers tend to respond because obviously that's something that's important to them because now they're balancing the sale of their property um, with the possible uh, possibilities of buying a property as well. So, and then following up and retargeting is where we're going to leverage the funnel, right? So here's your audiences. So remember, you have a target market and those, those, the people you're targeting, they're, they're going to be what you refer to as your audiences. And so you have cold, those are strangers in your market. These are people that don't know who you are. Um, you know, these are homeowners. And I think this is personally the mistake real estate agents make is they look for buyer leads or seller leads. I'd advise you to not look for buyer or seller leads. I would advise you to look for homeowners in your market that look at you as a subject matter expert because you've demonstrated your expertise by actually educating them. 
And what I mean by that is when you call a buyer or seller, if you're coming from the place of adding value and demonstrating you can actually help them by actually helping them, then what you'll realize is that you will over time have people coming to you for business because of the value you put in the marketplace. So the question is, is how do you turn a stranger in your target market um, and, and start getting their attention so that you can start getting that type of top of mind awareness so you can, because mind share equals market share, right? And you can do that. Um, and, and the second audience is retargeting. And so this is anybody that engages with your ads, your website, your social media uh, pages. This is going to be important as I walk you through some of these demonstrations here in a minute. Um, then you have your leads. Those are people who've actually given you your contact information and you have permission to text them, email, call them, those types of things. So now we can, because it's permission-based follow-up, we can start leveraging some automation. Um, not to be confused with AI, I see a lot of people who think they're using AI and they're usually, they're usually just using automation that's just being positioned as AI. Had that happen this morning. Um, someone asked if something was AI and I they kind of walked through what they were doing. It was just behavioral type marketing, which is just being able to trigger different types of responses. AI typically gets smarter over time. Um, and, and so um, not to be confused with AI, but and then we have our sales process, which is advancing people towards the sale. So anytime we get a lead and we put them into um, permission-based follow-up, they can then self-select so we can determine timing and motivation. Motivation is timing. If somebody wants to do something sooner than later, they're motivated. But again, the retargeting ads, all of our audiences that aren't hot, that aren't leads, we can retarget with social proof because typically when you're trying to get a stranger to do business with you, you have to start with getting their interest by understanding what it is that they desire or the problems that they have, then you wanna leverage proof and samples and demonstration. You can never have too much demonstration. So the, one of the first things I want you guys to check out here is our waterfront funnel. Like I said, today's um, um, presentation is gonna be quick and to the point. I'm gonna give you exactly what I promised to give you, which is the funnels that were working uh, and that are working well right now. The waterfront funnel is working really well. We launched it in Tampa. We're launching one right now in Sarasota. Anywhere you have waterfront property, and um, this is the actual screenshot. So we ran an oceanfront condo ad. We, you know, we have people that are literally running this ad successfully in New Jersey, I believe in Virginia, Virginia Beach area, all different types of place. Waterfront can be inland water, uh, can be lake, but anytime that you can, can really go out and call that target market, what you'll realize is that we're spending basically $3 a lead here and um, the conversion rate is about 1%. So $3 a lead with a 1% conversion rate. For us, we're going to be looking at a customer acquisition um, um, basic, basic target. And so this looks like from this uh, actual traffic with the 1% conversion rate, $3 uh, per lead. If you look at the, 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 different, the, the different reach results and the stuff that we're doing, we're forecasting a $300 customer acquisition. So I've seen customer acquisitions and I'll tell you guys, you know, on the seller side, as we show you some of these other things, you'll see some more expensive uh, customer acquisition costs. But for a waterfront funnel, that's kind of what we're looking at, at $2.93. Now, another thing I want to, if you can, please mute yourself. Hold on one second, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to stop someone to unmute me. Hold on one second, I don't know who's not muted there. I got it, Mike. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Um, also, um, the offers and audiences. So again, what we had there was, uh, you have two different offers. So we have a primary offer in the waterfront, which is going to be access to all the waterfront condo deals in the area. And we're going to run that to the cold traffic. Remember those audiences are the cold traffic. People who don't know who you are. Our goal is to get cold traffic, warm them up to the point where now they know, like, and trust us. They look at us as somebody who can actually help them because we've helped them. And now that we've earned that trust. Um, we're now going to impress upon them, right? And so again, our detailed targeting are people who have interest in realtor.com for sale by owners, home equity loans. This is going to be the targeting that we're going to put like into Facebook. Now I'm not going to get into running the ads on Google and retargeting on Facebook, although that is going to get you a higher commercial intent, a little bit more higher cost per lead, but a shorter cash conversion cycle, meaning the people that are generated um, um, from retargeting on Facebook based upon search on Google tend to be a little bit more motivated because uh, they were on Google first looking for a solution to a problem. Um, but back to the offers in the audiences. So we have a primary offer on this one. We'll have a secondary offer. And this is we're going to offer our top 10 list of all the new and best deals oceanfront condos that recently became available. And again, 
this is going to be to warm traffic, right? Retargeting. And we're going to retarget um, anybody who's engaged with our page. So if somebody's landed on our page, um, anybody who's engaged with our Instagram, maybe we have some different Instagram stories. Maybe we're <clears throat> shooting some ads and promoting uh, um, uh, a specific property and we're putting those on Instagram. And then all website visitors. Again, this is our warm audiences. These are the people who are engaging with us. If the person lives nowhere near water, um, but 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 they see this again. You're going to get that impression. And remember, you're this to convert online. Every time you stack an offer, you start to lower your cost basis for acquiring a customer because you have all of these audiences. And so what we do is we build up a kind of a primary offer, a primary funnel, and then we start layering different offers based upon the goals of the agents that we're working with. And so this is what the ad looks like. This is an, an actual ad and what it would look like. And one thing I want to point out here, we'll show you a demonstration of this here in a little bit, is we're using a lead form. And the reason that's important is the lead form is going to be native to Facebook. And what that means is, so with the tool that we use, um, all of that, when they fill that out, all of that is directly sucked into a CRM. It creates a sales, um, uh, uh, puts them into a step in a sales process. It creates engagement right out of the, um, the CRM, which starts texting email. But that all comes from the consumer's experience. I want to point this out. The consumer's experience is a click of the button. They literally, they clicked on the ad, learn more. And when it showed up, it says, when are you interested in buying? They're going to select one option and they're going to hit next. Their information is going to automatically populate in their contact information. So they're literally going to hit next and next. And when they hit the last next, that's going to be view condos. And we're going to land them on our IDX site. So for a lot of us using KB Core, whether it's a Boomtown Tiger Lease, Commission Inc., doesn't matter, your website, anywhere that you're going to have a buyer search, um, we're going to have a dedicated page that's going to be preset and have to have these properties displayed on them. And most, most sites a, uh, uh, allow you to do that. So for their experience, they click they listen, they click learn more, they click next twice, and then they hit view condos and now boom, they're on your beautiful IDX site where they can start to look at homes. You've already caught, got their contact information. Um, usually your phone's rang by now because you've gotten a new lead. And um, we'll walk through some of those follow-up processes here in a second. Um, so here's what a landing page versus a lead ad is gonna tell you. The algorithm will give you what you ask for. So if you, when you're in, when you're in Facebook, if you actually will tell the system that you're doing lead generation, what you got to understand is there's billions of dollars being spent in whether it's from Zillow, um, but there's billions of dollars of being spent in, in what in marketing to people looking to buy or sell. And Facebook has that information and they do have AI. And so their, their AI knows based upon success rates of other people's campaigns because so many marketers are going to put pixels on their site. And so that in turn makes the system smarter over time. And so what's going to happen is it's going to start to see different engagements. It's going to start to see what you're trying to do. And it, ultimately, it's going to optimize. It's going to optimize to collect leads for you. And so this is one thing you want to point out. And um, uh, the campaign objective is the most important thing here. So, you know, when you, when, you, when you hit that campaign objective, you want to make sure that you're choosing lead generation. Okay. Lead ads are pre-populated with all the correct information. That's very important. So no more Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. You know, you're going to have way less of that. You're going to have people that are, are typically uh, good contact information because, again, that information uh, pulling directly from their um, uh, directly from their profile. Right. And then we have follow up campaigns. So on the ocean front, we, we generated three hundred and eighty three leads here. And what you'll see is forty six percent of those leads, forty six point two one of them actually reply. That's important because. You know, if you don't know, I wrote a book called Inside Sales Predictability, had 18 ISAs, making 18,000 outbound calls um, a week, some weeks at our peak. And, you know, at the, after doing that for a year and having quite success, what I changed was I quit giving my leads to my ISAs. I used my ISAs for demand generation and I used my campaigns for the conversion process of getting me on the phone or getting my agent on the phone. And the cool thing about this is these campaigns can be customized for buyer's agents. So all the text, all the emails, uh, all the voicemails are specific to who the lead is assigned. So if I had five agents, a lead comes in, there's a round robin, it goes to Pete, goes to April, goes to Jen. Every single one of those leads is going to get a, a voicemail from that agent that was pre-recorded when they came onto my team. Um, 
based upon the best practices and what we saw get the best engagement. And so again, this is a, this is important for you to understand. I've seen 62% response rate. That's unheard of. Imagine getting 50% of all your leads to text, email, or call you, right? A 46% on this campaign contacting us is a huge success. Now, all the people who don't contact you, obviously you can still contact. Um, but I would, I would let you know that, um, uh, you know, you don't have to have the, you know, a lot of the times you'll see motivated people, they'll move really fast. And if you're not really responsive on a Saturday or a Sunday, 34% of the time your homes are on the market as a weekend, you could potentially run into the problem of having that lead decay because leads do decay over time. And so what we want to do is make sure we have a good contacting campaign, right? And so once they contact us, then what we do, this is where the magic happens. This is where we start hitting them with our secondary offer. And our secondary offer um, here, we walked you through in a, a second ago, but you can see right inside of our system, we put these people into an opportunity pipeline. We have our conversation inbox right here where all of the people who want to email text, those 46%, they're all coming into one place where we can manage them, we can engage with them, and we can, again, determine timing and motivation and put them in the right follow-up sequence based upon where they are, right? So again, in this scenario, what you'll see here is we delivered them the primary offer, looking for a two bedroom um, uh, Stinger Island type budget up to 400. And then you'll see, we made them a secondary offer, right? And again, this is, you can make them the secondary offer via chat. You can do it through retargeting. There's all sorts of ways that you can do that. You can retarget them through chat, um, which is a preferred method we'll show you here in a second. And let's talk about the seller funnel. Uh, the cash offer funnel, guys, I, I believe is um, truly uh, an op it's an opportunity right now. And I think it's gonna be an opportunity for quite some time. Um, the cash offer funnel is real simple. Here's the numbers, we'll start with the numbers. Uh, we, we have a higher cost per lead, $13 a lead, which is still a discount. I've, I've paid as much as $75 for these types of leads. Let me point one thing out. If I generated 10 of these leads, four of them are gonna be a deal that I'm buying or my investors buying, um, putting on the market. And that's, that, that's just over my, you know, that's based upon my experience. Now, this isn't interruption marketing. This is somebody who would actually be out there looking to sell their home fast, um, then retargeting them. Um, this is a straight, this, this ad here that we're going to show with, share with you was straight on Facebook. Uh, assuming a 2% conversion rate, you have a customer acquisition cost of $650. What I tell people is the cash conversion cycle is when you spend a dollar, how long it takes you to get back. One of the shortest cash conversion cycles you can get is on a motivated seller because you can find the property and you can typically, if it's a good deal, give it to a buyer who is not subject to financing, right? Usually you can find a cash buyer um, or a strong buyer to buy that home. And a lot of the times we can get that listing uh, once that, that investor is ready to sell that property, considering if they're looking to uh, sell it versus hold it. And the reason that's important is I did, I mean, almost half of my transactions my first year in business came from this exact offer. I learned it early, did it, ran it all the time, ran it my whole career. In fact, um, uh, partnered with a guy, uh, Marcos, who the day we partnered, he was running the same offer that I ran. And that first week he was with us, um, he did three transactions, which was pretty awesome. And so these same offers, again, um, you can, if you, if you haven't seen some of our ever, other webinars where we've done offline to online, I'm not getting into any of that, but this particular offer is something that you could do offline to online where you could, you could mail this to, um, you could get a list of everybody who's missed two credit payments or no more. I know based upon that data, when I looked at it years ago, a third of those people had their home on the market or were in foreclosure within 12 months um, when, we were, when we were targeting that data set. But you could technically get those addresses, create custom audiences, and, and, and whether that's somebody, you get a list of probates, people going through a divorce, anyone that would be a motivated home seller, just something to think about. The ad is real simple. Instant offer, it's calling out the audience, thinking of selling your home, get an instant offer. If anybody clicks on that link, again, we can retarget them with Waterfront. We can retarget them with any of these other offers. We can retarget them with a testimonial of someone's house you actually bought. But again, we're using the same lead form. They're gonna hit, they're gonna hit learn more. They're gonna click next. They've never left Facebook. They're in Facebook's native uh, platform still. So they haven't went anywhere that's un, um, that is unfamiliar to them. So there's still a lot of trust. They hit next again. It's going to bring in their contact information. If it doesn't have one of their contact information, let's say their, their street, they can input that information. 
And um, then we then we land them on a place where they can actually um, schedule an appointment to meet with one of our advisors, right? And so um, again, here is a uh, branded version of that. So you have the express offer, you, they submit their address, and then we take them no different than Offpad, Open Door, Zillow offers. We take them through a list of questions. Are you the owner? Let's verify some of your property information, guys. And then they land on the calendar. This is an individual that would be in your calendar wanting to talk to you specifically about, you know, getting their home sold fast. Um, and typically what they're really wanting to know is what you would offer them um, in the event, um, in the event you were to make them an offer. The great thing about this and the thing that I love um, the most is, um, it, I guess one of my favorite things about this, um, this offer is the scripts are real easy. People call you up. Hey man, I saw, you know, your express offers, you know, how does that work? Works exactly like it sounds. That's the script. Um, but the caveat is, is that, you know, you have to be able to, um, take a look at the property. Right. And so, and some obviously homes don't qualify. So, you know, I have always taught this because I did it for so long is, you know, just let them know the details up front, right? If their price, if their home doesn't qualify based on palm price point, let them know right out of the gate. They'll still, you can still set the appointment. I've done it hundreds of times. Um, you know, they're just wanting to know a little bit more. And, and as you know, I always say good marketing makes the consumer say, how does this work? So when they call you, the leads generated, they want to know how this works. Now, if you can't make these offers, I, I would, I would challenge you to go look at companies like um, uh, express offers for some of you who have access to that. Some of you, your, your uh, independent brokers might have um, access to something like this. You might have a, a investor network that you can put together. There should be, you know, you can leverage open door. They'll make offers. Um, I've told people if I was running this funnel right now, it would, it would be my, my USP would be um, receive multiple offers in 48 hours. And the reason why is I'd be the conduit to all these other offer platforms where I help the homeowner submit the property after they signed a listing agreement where I would at least get paid um, in the event that I was, help, I was, I was able to help them uh, get an offer that was accept, uh, acceptable to them. Now, if they didn't want to accept one of those offers, obviously um, I have a fiduciary responsibility to let them know what an owner occupant would pay. And so once I went over this program with them and I saw their home and I went over the different numbers, I would then present them with the alternative options. And typically what I found Nine out of 10 times, they'd rather sell it to homeowner, a homeowner occupant, um, especially if there's something like carpet or foundation, something where in your marketplace, you can work with a vendor that would defer those costs until closing. Again, it's doing a needs analysis with each individual, finding what their motivation is, what their, what's going on. Um, again, we do the same follow-up campaign. And as you see, 49% of the people actually texted us. And that's huge. Like half of these people called, texted, or emailed us. Uh, new construction funnel is beyond hot. Um, we've been running this since March. We launched this in March. Uh, it's been really successful. Again, $3.64 a lead, 1.5% uh, conversion rate, which I think is totally, totally doable um, and conservative. We got a guy, Blake. Uh, I don't know Blake's last name. I wish I had, a, I, but Blake started this 30 days ago, has five deals under contract from this exact funnel. Linda Dale uh, put a deal under contract on day six. I've had a, a, tons of people who bring this funnel successfully. And it's pretty cool. The primary offer is real simple. Selection, we hit them with the selection, then we retarget them with affordability. So the selection is gonna be access to all the new construction properties in the area. That's gonna go towards that cold market. Um, again, everybody who's on here, I'm gonna be able to offer anybody the opportunity to set up any of these funnels for you for, um, and, and if you, if you want something like this set up, I'm going to share that with you on how we can do that. We have a bunch of different ways to get these set up. We even have a way where we can do it and not charge you a dime. Again, we'll go over all that. If you stay till the end, we're almost there. I said, I was going to be quick, clear, and precise. And so just hang in with me. Uh, we're going to let people go early, but again, the secondary offer is warm traffic retargeting the conversion. So let's, let's really break this one down. So we have a lead ad. They fill out the lead form again, they click next, they click next, we captured their contact information, we landed them on an exact page, which is our IDX site, which is showing them new construction in our marketplace. We're throwing them into the pipeline, which is new lead that contacted, is they're gonna automatically move to the contacted stage after they respond to one of our campaigns. Again, we're gonna hit them with, uh, with an automatic voice blast, our phone's gonna read, we're gonna text, we're gonna email them. And then we're going to retarget them with incentives. And that's where, this is what the uh, original offer would look like. Is so if somebody would come to the site, 
they would see it, they would click learn more, they would go to the next section, they would determine their timing and motivation, they would actually click their timing, and then we would basically automatically import their info, they hit next, boom, they're going to land literally on the site when they hit submit, and uh, it's going to it's going to say view homes, and if they hit view homes, they're going to land on our um, uh, direct link to new constructions. This is a Silicon Valley. This is the Whitlock site. So he's in Silicon Valley. It's going to show new construction in Silicon Valley, but everybody gets the point. Now we're going to retarget those people with messenger ads. We're going to hit them in messenger. We're going to offer them again. They're going to be in the pipeline. Um, we're going to offer them time frame, area, realtor. We're going to ask them those different questions to get engagement, including um, a voice message to get the appointment. And then again, we're retargeting them with properties and this is what that looks like. If you're thinking about buying a new construction property in Frisco right now, paper can help you save up to $20,000. I'm Woods Davis with e So you can see he, he went through that. He's showing you here where he's gotten um, engagement here um, with people who are actually reaching out to him directly from Messenger. Again, our Messenger is linked to our CRM. So all of our texts, all of our emails, all of those individual, all of those different things are going to come in directly linked. Hey, Jimmy, will you make sure everybody's muted there? I think I hear something. Thanks, bud. Um, all right. So um, we've done really well in Spanish. If you have anybody in Spanish, uh, if you speak Spanish and you're not, or you have anybody on your team that speaks Spanish or, you know, Make sure you tell them to check this out because we could <laughs> untapped. I mean, talk about low hanging fruit. Um, our cost per lead is $2.17. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can see we, 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 we worked with Lily, I think one week, Lily uh, turned in, I believe, I don't want to exaggerate, but I believe she turned in six contracts. And um, this is a person who was a part-time agent, wanted to go full-time, obviously went full-time after we launched her funnel and she had great success. So um, that's what I want everybody to really think about. You know, I want you to think about those things. And uh, let me see. Hold on a second. All right, so let me ask everybody a question real quick. Hang tight with me. If my team was willing to help you create a plan to build a funnel, would you want their help? So if I got the guys and the gals on my team and they said, hey, they'll build you a funnel right now, if you would like their help, I want you to put yes in the chat box. I'm going to give it a second here. If you would like their help building a funnel, we can cut. Like, again, I should show you all the funnels. We haven't went through them all. Uh, we have a condo funnel working good in New Jersey and Ontario and Miami. All right. So for those of you who said yes, why would you? All right. I want you to think about that for a second. So let me give you some of the good news and the bad news. Let's start with the bad news. The right funnel will make your phone ring. It will. If you have the right funnel with the right follow-up campaigns, it's going to make your phone ring. But do you mind your phone ringing if it were qualified buyers and sellers looking for an agent? For those of you who want to start generating business consistently every week, here's the good news. Whether you're a new agent, right, or you want to build a team, or you want to expand into other markets, we can actually help you. In fact, what if I said my team and I could just build your funnel, literally write the ads, set up the campaigns, build out all the follow-ups, everything you needed to turn your leads in your business on like turning a water faucet. Imagine if every lead was put, in it, put into a proven contacting campaign, then they started calling, texting, emailing you every day. Want more listings? We have the funnel for that. Guys, want to build a team? No. Maybe you want more leads. I don't know. Imagine having access to, having access to everything you need. You need to get back on track to hit your goals for 2021? We got you. Want to take over a farm? Not a problem. Let us build a hyper-targeted custom audience for you. Want to go after luxury buyers or sellers? Let us help. Imagine no more guesswork, instantly having access to every system, tool, process we've ever created for our business. And if that's not enough, imagine if we did this all and never charged you a dime. The result would be instant growth. You would never have priority confusion. You'd know exactly what to do. You would be fully trained with the roadmap and a team of rock stars to help you. You'd be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Are you interested? Wondering how this would work? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. We are partnering with agents and helping them execute all the tech stuff that typically is holding them back. We identify what's working and what's not working, what things you need to do more of, and what things you need to stop doing. And the formula is actually really simple. We're going to define where you want to be in the next 36 months. Then we're going to reverse engineer a plan for what you need to do in the next 90 days to get there. Obviously, partnering with someone is a hands-on process. So I think it's best for all of us if we look at your current business and create a plan for you 
And then we can decide if partnering makes sense moving forward. If you meet our criteria, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a strategic plan call where we're going to review your current business and create your personal economic model. We're going to create a lead generation model and a marketing plan. We're going to do all the math and reverse engineer your goals to get um, a clear plan for you to hit them. Then we're going to review your options to partner and grow a team or expand your business. Now, let me tell you who this is for. People who understand the value of a system and can follow a process, care about their clients and the services they provide, and are committed to learning and growing, and want a higher standard of training. Leverage the power of marketing and lead generation so they can build their personal brand and who are humble, hungry, and smart. Not too busy that they can't spend a couple of days with us getting trained. And this is usually just all over the internet. So let me get one thing clear. I'm not trying to sell anyone a coaching program and I'm not trying to sell you some lead generation system, but we'd be more delighted to coach you and build one for you. What we're offering to do is partner with like-minded agents and not charge them a dime and help them grow their business. If you'd like to know more about that and get the free strategic plan at no cost or obligation, here's what I want you to do next. I want you to go to callmichaelreese.com. I want you to go to callmichaelreese.com and we're going to schedule your strategy call. That's where you're going to go. Is go to callmichaelreese.com, okay? Now, here's what I want to do next, okay? I want you to go to callmichaelreese.com. I, I want to tell you about Linda Dale. Linda Dale is an agent. Um, she was surprised by the quality. Let me play this for you real quick. Pleasantly surprised with the quality of the leads that I'm getting from this uh, funnel that we just set up by comparison with Boomtown leads. Yeah. Boomtown, we get such a low response. We, we, you know, we just dial for hours every single day. And these leads, oh, hey, Linda, I was going to call you today. <laughs> oh, thanks for calling me. Or I mean, whatever it is, we want to talk about it. I can't even believe the quality of the people when I'm making a connection with them. There's, they, like, want to talk to me. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> yeah, can I, hey, awesome. can I share that? Can I share that? Can I share that test? Uh, Brooke, this is Brooke. Um, and so Brooke, uh, three funnels running, set two appointments. Listen to this. We created about three or four funnels. We're working on the new construction funnel, looking to, I already pulled up Fox News to figure out what I could do to identify uh, the person there to get on TV so that we can start running on that. We've got, um, I mean, Jake, how many, how many leads did you set appointments with today? Two. He did two yesterday. Um, and Jake's been doing this for about a year uh, as an ISA. And um, we've got at least, I think, eight to 10 under contract, been running it for about uh, two months. Uh, I can pull up and yeah, the calls coming back through. We'll just let it continue to ring. Uh, now, guys, uh, just so you know, I'm going to be doing these calls next week. I have a handful of people that I, when I did this this first time that we're getting set up this week. So if this is something you're going to want to do, we're going to be doing this next week. This is Melissa Miller. Great story. Listen, she's spending $10 a day. Now, she when, when she says she's going to say she has five on the streets, that means she's engaged with these people, got them to sign a buyer's rep. They chose to use her and she's already got two of the seven under contract. <laughs> so, so first of all, so when did you start with us? Like two weeks ago. Two weeks something. ago. Yeah. How many, how many leads have you generated in two weeks? Um, gosh, I think it's 200 something that's in there now. And like, what's, probably, Oh, I can tell you right now. Hold on. Cause I just downloaded the app. I think it's two, 200 something. And, yeah. uh, and so how many uh, transactions do you have working right now? So, okay. Oh, two twelve. And we have um, five on the streets and we have um, two under contract from All this. right, that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. And so about how much would you say that you've spent on, in lead generation? What's your budget? What's your um, I'm just doing budget? $10, $10 a day. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm doing $10 a day. All right, so go to callmichaelreese.com. If for some reason, um, I'm gonna give everyone access to my cell phone. If, don't call me, but if you want, you can text me. You can call me if you want to. If I don't answer, I'll call you back. My cell phone's 972 672 6271. Again, we might have some spots come open. So if you'd like to move yourself further up, if for some reason we have a spot open this week, text me. And um, if you schedule an appointment for next week and we can move your spot up 
up to this week, I'll text you back. Um, usually we have people who have to reschedule. And so we, we might have a couple of other spots opening and we're looking at opening possibly a couple spots uh, in the morning, either on Saturday or Sunday. Now I'm gonna be personally getting on this call with you again. Um, it looks like we have a ton of these coming through. I just wanted to let people know, I wish I could have had a lot of availability like tomorrow or the next day. Um, but unfortunately um, that is not the case. It's gonna be early next week, but I could, I could possibly move you up. Find a time that works for you next week in the calendar, schedule that. Again, we have several different models. Uh, I've talked to you guys a, a, about a couple of them, but I look forward to having the opportunity to, to meet you guys and help you guys with your business. And if there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Um, you can message me. Um, you can send me a text message or you can schedule a call at callmichaelreese.com. Thank you so much. Y'all make it a great day.